what what's popping guys it's your boy you guys saw what is going on in the thumbnail that's right we're doing the coca-cola challenge maybe this may be one of the craziest things i've ever done probably not because i've done a lot of crazy things without further ado let's get right to the video All right, guys, without further ado, we're going to get right into this challenge. I'm going to pour the uh, Coca-Cola in the tub. Fun fact, this is the first time I've actually worn this uh, since I did my competition December 9th. So it feels pretty cool to wear this again. Um, I can darn sure assure you guys that I definitely don't look like I did when I competed. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Check this out, bro. Look at this. It's like the Black Sea. I got a question for you guys. Who's doing this, bro? Who's doing this? I got diet. I think it's actually zero free, uh, zero sugar. I just bought, I paid a dollar extra for it, you know, just to be funny, to make a joke about it, but it's not funny, don't let it. I'm gonna uh, open this up, pour the rest of this in, and with a twist, I got some Mento, so let's do it. Let's run this. I wanted to do this because you know how I see football players or athletes rather do ice bath uh, things at their workout. So I figured after my workout, why not do coke? You know what I mean? I don't drink soda. I haven't drunk soda in a couple years. You guys know that. You know me. So anyway, we're gonna get into a Q and A as I promised. I told you guys I was gonna do a Q and A a couple weeks ago. They're gonna be fitness related, of course. Um, so I'm gonna ask around three to five questions. What you guys gonna ask me? Let's get right into it. So the first question I get a lot: What is the best way or what is the best approach to start when you work out? A lot of people don't listen to me when I say this, but I always preach about keeping a lesson log or some sort of daily log of your workouts and your meal. It's crucial to track everything you're doing because I always tell people consistency is key. So if you're consistently writing your journal, you're consistently writing your workout plans, you're gonna be consistently watching your diet, you're gonna be consistently working out. Therefore, you will be consistent in your gains or your losses. All right, guys, number two. I get this question actually a lot. What does Alpha U stand for? Okay, I'm gonna go with this in short and detail because this could go on. Alpha U is pretty much a brand as far as being the best Alpha you can be. So a lot of people know the word Alpha, a lot of people know the word Beta. Alpha is probably like the, the leader of the pack, you know, the wolf pack. But for me, Alpha U is being the best Alpha you can be. So it's not just being a generic Alpha, it's being the best person you can be. And I think that transitions into fitness and nutrition in general. There's a lot of people, especially with social media, want to be like other people, a lot of like, uh, they want to be like a lot of other fitness personalities. They want to be a lot about like what people see on the news or in the magazines, whatever it is. It's just about being the best Alpha you can be. And that means a life, fitness, business, whatever. Just being the best Alpha you can be. That's the brand. Uh, by the way, if you guys aren't following the YouTube, make sure you subscribe, Alpha U Vlogs. Y'all eat, let's get Number three, guys, what split am I on right now? Uh, right now, I am not competing at the moment, but right now my split is uh, push-pull legs, six days on, one day off. As you guys know, I am off-season right now, so I'm not competing at the moment. So yeah, that's my split right now, so I do push-pull legs. If you don't know a lot about push-pull legs, I can do a video on that specifically, because I can go on and on about it. This is from the intermediate fitness people that follow me. Uh, resistance training or calisthenics? A lot of times, it just depends on your preference because any of them is going to be good for you because obviously, you know, calisthenics is just a body-based workout, so you're doing your own weight. So depending on how much you weigh, depending on how less you weigh, this is going to be pretty much your resistance. And as far as resistance training in general, um, I guess that goes hand-in-hand -hand with calisthenics. It's resistance training is putting the amount of resistance that you want to put on there, not exactly body weight. It could be more than body weight, it could be less than body weight. Whatever your muscles can tolerate is uh, what you can do. So anyways, uh, the difference between both, there is a big difference. Which one would you do rather than others? Just based on preference. All right, guys. Last question: Will I be competing again for men's physique? As you guys know, I did compete last year, December 9th. I got second place out of six competitors. I don't know, man, if I'm gonna do it again or not. I may do it again in the future. I know my confederation, uh, my membership runs up actually this month, so I probably gotta get it renewed regardless. But I think I may compete again. I don't know when though. Uh, I guess to answer your question is I definitely may compete. It's not out of the question and I'm not really committed to it at the moment, but 
Well, we'll see. Just time will tell. I got big things. Big things are coming, guys. Big things are coming. So that's the end of the Q&A. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanted me to do a part two to the Q&A, let me know in the comment section below. Also, guys, if you're not following the channel, go ahead and subscribe right now because who's doing this, bro? Look at this. Who's doing this? Who's doing this, bro? So go ahead and subscribe right now. Turn on the post notifications so you can get the content quicker and faster and easier and better. I love you guys so much. You guys are awesome. The best, best family on YouTube. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to live free, Alpha. Free.